welcome back to another Sunday Munchie. So today we are going to be making one of the famous desserts here in my country and that is leche flan. If you ever come to my country, this dessert is definitely going to be on the list menu in the restaurants here. So if you guys are interested in how to make this, the Filipino style, then let's get started. So this is my proportion. I'm going to use 8 egg yolks evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, vanilla, and of course a leche flan molder. Now if you don't have this, you can totally use a baking dish that you have available. So now in here I'm going to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. I know some people join it in, but I don't usually do it because I like the leche flan to have a thick consistency. So I'm going to beat the egg yolks and then I'm going to add that one can of condensed milk and then mix it together and after that I'm going to add in one fourth cup of milk and then mix it in and then of course lastly I will be adding in the one half teaspoon of vanilla and then I will blend that for the last time and then I'll set that aside because I'm going to make the syrup now to make the syrup my proportion is one cup of sugar and then one cup of water so I'll put all those things in a pan and then I'll let it boil until it becomes thick just like that. Now after that's done, I'm going to take the syrup and put that into the mold and then I'm going to make sure to coat the sides just like that. Also this can be very hot so definitely wear something that would protect your hands. So now that's done, I'm going to use a strainer to filter out any lumps as I'm pouring it into the mold. And then of course I'm going to cover that with the lid and with the other one right there. I kind of lost the lid so I just used the foil to cover it. So in a huge tray, I will fill up the water halfway through and then I'll be placing the leche flan in there. I already preheated the oven. So now I'm going to put that inside and let it bake for about 30 to 40 minutes. So once that's done, I'll take it out and then I'll let it sit to cool for about three minutes and then I'll put that into the fridge to let it cool for 15 minutes so that it'll be easier later for me to remove it off the molder as you can see there and it will also help your leche flan maintain its form if you put it into the fridge. Now I'll be transferring it into a plate and this one is just well cooked because I like that it has a texture of a creme brulee um, because I personally don't like um, the leche flan that are loose and the foamy type of leche flan. So this one turned out just right and then this one right here I cooked it in a less amount of time so the insides were still a bit soft and it has the consistency of a pudding but however the outer corners were cooked just right and I really do like this one as well. So the last one here is I baked it using my baking dish and it looks like this. It's a bit flat and I should have used a smaller container but it really looked good and most importantly it tasted amazing. So in here I'm going to slice it and this is what it looks like right now. I know you guys want one and how I wish I can just give this to you all virtually. <laughs> So I hope you guys liked this dessert. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it to a friend or a family because it's always fun making food treats like this. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye!